Hello everybody and welcome back to another Railway Empire 2 video. Anyways, last time we set up this wonderful loop of track right here. Meaning that our trains only really have to go in one direction and we can run both passenger and freight. As you can see we have uh, freight right here on the outer rail and then zooming by we have some uh, passenger services. And yeah, it's working really well. It's making a nice little bit of money. And, um, yeah, today we have a couple more tasks to do. Uh, we need to achieve express status on a rail between Liverpool and Carlis, and then four loads of vegetables to York, which I'm thinking the easiest vegetables are probably going to be down here in East Anglia. Uh, we do need to buy that out. Or we could also try and get to the McKinsey farm. Which, I don't know, just the ludicrousness of it, I kind of want to head to the McKinsey farm. I think it would be funny. Although, <laughs> if you plan this out, right, like that's three million dollars worth of viaduct just across the water. So I don't know how worth it it is. It's probably not worth it, but it would be hilarious. So we might do that. We'll see <laughs> if we have enough money. We might do that. Uh, but yeah, I think for right now, we'll go ahead and get this uh, task started. So what we're going to go ahead and do is we recently bought this rail right here. And now we don't need the station here. So we'll delete the station. And what we'll go ahead and do is we'll just go ahead and connect our rail to this rail. So we'll go ahead and find a spot to connect. I'm not quite sure where would be a good spot. Just wherever we can... I mean, 4% isn't ideal, really. Yeah, I mean, I guess 3% is the best we're going to be able to do. Because, yeah, if we try and join up sooner, this rail is a lot higher than ours. So yeah, at least we can get connected to it over here. And yeah, it's a pretty good rail to actually that skirts by this mountain here. So I think that's pretty good. I think I'll go for that. We'll leave the bridge there because three percent's it's not great. I would like it. I would like for it to be less than three percent. But hey, what you gonna do? And then we'll go ahead and get the parallel hooked up, which won't be as expensive. Hopefully, there we go. Well, it's gotta do a couple bridges, but yeah, about about, about the same cost. Uh, that's fine. There we go. There's our little. Our little track. Oh, that's really cool. Look at that. Look how the tunnels are. They got like that, uh, uh some architecture around them. That's really cool. Uh, because they're like, it's just barely where you can't do tunnels. This is kind of jank. Uh, a little bit. With how that's, uh, showing. Where it's like part stone wall, part viaduct. And it's fine. Yeah, it's fine. Don't worry about it too much. <laughs> um, yeah, let's go ahead and get the, uh, gridirons hooked up over here and over here there we go and we'll go ahead and build a water tower i'm thinking right here because don't you just love having to cut into the mountain to build to build a water tower <laughs> okay i think i might be able to do this and then this station they put it like right smack in the middle okay i think with that i'll still be yeah i should still be able to get around and they have a, t a, t a bridge here so i can still get to more corn okay that's good and salt. Okay. As long as I can get to more corn and salt, I'll be happy. And supplies. Alrighty. And this, they want cloth. Okay, so we'll go ahead and set up some trains. And then we'll go ahead and set the directions of the other two rails. So if I believe... Okay, we don't actually have directions... Okay, we don't have directions here. Okay, I, okay, I, I did want to redo this rail at some point, so I guess today is the day we're redoing this rail. Because it is not great. Yeah, because trains are getting confused here, so I'm just trying to think about how to go about this. And I'm thinking probably just do, like, this. Well, can we do this? Yeah, let's do that. Okay. That works. Okay, and now this is not working because it doesn't want to double. But I, mean, I guess that's fine, right? We don't actually need double directions in that way. Let's see here. Okay, so this track will have to always be this direction. That's fine. This will be the returning track. This is always this direction. Okay. That works. And then this is the way back. That, that'll, that'll work for now. Yeah, so they'll just get on this track and head back to Liverpool. And I'll probably, I'll probably figure something out here and get something worked out. I'll probably have to redo this whole area. But for now, it'll work for now. It'll work for now. Ooh, Birmingham has grown. And we can do our business here. Ooh, okay. Let's see. What new production could we use? Um... A dairy industry would be really nice. I do. I will say that. Yeah, because we can get that into London, I think. 
Might be a little pricey, but we're gonna try. Okay, four and three. That's not great, but that's not terrible either. Actually, yeah, I think... I think what I ought to do is just drag this out, so that way the gradient's a little bit less. There you go, two percent. And then we'll come back around to here. Yeah, we'll go for that. In the long run, that won't be that expensive. All right, I got our passenger trains going, but I don't know if they're going to reach express status on just Rhines. Hopefully they will. We'll see. If you're wondering why we're so successful, it's because of my military background. For 10 years, I was a soldier in the 67th Regiment of the Bengal Native Infantry, and I picked up a few things. Okay, well, never mind. We're actually good there. <laughs> Literally just ticked over. Okay, cool deal. And yeah, we're doing really good. We're like, yeah, we're quite a few a few years away from that December deadline. So, yeah, we got we got we got plenty of time here to do that. Oh, rehabilitation. Oh, sure. Because it's better than having to research it. But now I'm upset because I was saving up for rails and now I had to pay it for research. Yeah. In service personnel training. Oh yeah, sure. We'll do that. Yeah, I'm, re I'm really waiting for this train, the Barbones. That's going to be real nice. A distant but wealthy aunt has unfortunately passed and bequeathed you 100 construction industry stocks. Stocks of this type portray a specific sector of the economy and will appreciate if the economic data sees a bigger improvement than projected. You can access the stocks. Okay. Interesting. Bonus for new industry in Oxford. Okay. New production. Let's see. Um, yeah, I want, we need to do liquor somewhere. A distillery. But uh, furniture is not met anywhere, so... And you got the lumber from London, so yeah, knock yourself out there. Yeah, so where's, I mean, fruit? I mean, there's, I mean, I mean, Liverpool would be the best spot, right, for this, or or even York. Oh, I just realized the distillery is actually owned by the other person, the other company. That's interesting. Yeah, so we want to get this fruit. We'll probably try and get this into O'Brien Terminal. Yeah, I think, I don't think our warehouse here is too full yet. I mean, it kind of is, actually. Although, beer doesn't really need to go through here because we get that from York, yes? Yeah. So beer doesn't really need to go through here. Uh, we can we can have fruits go through here instead from the Murphy estate. It'll be a little awkward because they'll have to come into the platform over here, but it should be fine. Let's go ahead and build this 81 kilometers of tunnel track. This is, this is the start of the London Underground. And, yeah, that's nowhere near as expensive for a double. <laughs> double lines are cheap. Oh, that is really cool looking. I like the the, the English tunnels. They're like uh, made of stone instead of the American tunnels, which are made of wood. Very, very interesting. I feel like a quadruple should be able to fit here. Although, although then again, that I guess that's just how much room it takes, doesn't it? We're going right up to the entrance of the tunnel. We're getting we're getting all the room we can get. That's fine. I don't care if the trains are slow. Having having a gridiron is better than having a couple slow trains. <laughs> yeah, there we go. That can that just barely fits in there now. Perfect. Yeah, a little kink in the rails is well worth it. Because if we didn't have the the great iron, there would be so many backups you wouldn't even know. Yeah, I mean, 39 isn't even that big of a problem for the trains we have now. Especially these freight ones. Like, 39 is so close to their top speed. That's pretty good. And yeah, our new train. Oh, that's an express. But this one, 53 is it's a little bit worse for this one. Because 53. But, I mean, it's, it's freight. It doesn't matter that much. It's a freight line. So I think that's all good there. We do need fruit and vegetables, though. I mean, do we just go to Cambridge? We could extend the loop out and actually make it to Cambridge. That honestly doesn't sound bad. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna extend the loop. Oh yeah, we need to buy the concession first. Right, okay, so we're gonna buy the concession and then we will extend our lovely little loop into Cambridge. Uh, business for sale, oh! Sure, I'll take it. We're just, we're just about to connect up to that. So that that works. Okay, so now we'll go ahead and try and get hooked into here, maybe? Yeah, that looks pretty good. Do we, to, we do have to make a little bit of a tunnel. Correction, a lot of bit of tunnel. Okay, hopefully it'll be fine. Let's see. Okay, just a little bit of a grade change there. Takes care of that. And then we'll get this hooked into O'Brien. And now we have Cambridge hooked into the London Loop. And we don't even have to go, like, that far out of our way, really. Track directions like a so. And now we just got to edit our rail lines, our loop rail lines. So where are they? There you go, London Loop free. Edit. O'Brien, Cambridge, London, 
Birmingham, Oxford. And they stay on the inside, which means we don't really need the waypoints to tell them where to go, but we got we got the two waypoints here anyway, because they're the inside. In the military, you learn the importance of supply lines. Same here. Only through a strong network can our cities be supplied. London remains the largest city. All right, I think we got 120 in London, right? Yep, yeah, we just reached 120,000 120, citizens in London, meaning London is now maximum level. Yeah, I don't really think there's anything else we can do with London. Oxford has grown again. Man, these are just growing. They keep on growing. They're not stopping growing. So that will do it there. And we're going to go ahead and go two more trains. And we're going to go from Iron Dukes to Le Continents. We're going to be going so zooming. Le Continent becomes fastest locomotive. Yes, zoom, zoom. We indeed like to zoom. All right, and I think I'm going to go ahead and buy out this uh, veggie line. Bure Valley Railway. Bure Valley Railway is now our valley railway and we don't need two train stations thank you very much is this a good idea do a little loop i mean we have the money to do this there we go another little little thing i guess it won't take that long for us to incur anyway look at these the continents yeah let's ride one of these the continents these are some zoomy boys oh yeah look at that big old driving wheel that is how you know it's a zoomy boy yeah, you can see, look at the big old driving wheel and how, like, little the, uh, rods are moving relative to the big old driving wheel. That's how you get the gear ratio and you get the zoomy boy. Oh, yeah, we're doing, like, 49, 50. I don't know if we have any, like, really straight pieces, but if we have any straight pieces, then we'll hit the max speed of 70. Okay, here's a bit of straight track. Can we accelerate on this little bit of straight track? This is where they're really gonna try and hit top speed, I feel like. Yeah, I mean, we got, we got quite a few straight bits. So I feel like if the Le Continents really wanted to hit top speed, they would. Which is crazy. Oh yeah, look, this guy's picking up speed now. Look at him go. He's gonna catch this freight guy, watch. He can go, look, 60. 62. Oh, he had to slow down. Yeah, look at him. He's catching up there. He was catching up. Fruits, I might actually just connect straight up to York. I feel like that's gonna be the easiest. Because our warehouses in the loop are kind of getting full. So I'm thinking fruit direct to York. And veggies are going to have to go through two warehouses. And then they're also going to have to go through... I don't know, do we, do we, do we have service direct from Liverpool to uh, to York? If we don't, we probably should. Oh, and York got a liquor industry. That is pretty perfect. Oh, no, no we, do, we, do, we do have a direct Liverpool to York, and it's doing really well. Okay, so that's good. Okay, let's get these uh, let's get these veggies then. Build that veggie line. Double that veggie line. The mini veggies line. All right, let's see what more research we got. Okay, condensation tender. Uh, reduces oil consumption. Um, uh, we're going to reduce maintenance requirements. That sounds pretty good. According to settings you made, the train line cannot perform any action at the station at Cambridge. You should check the settings so the trains don't have to make unnecessary stops. Is it because I'm telling it to load freight? No, he's saying it, it can't do anything. Why can't it do anything? That's, it has a grid iron. All right, that shouldn't be an issue. Twenty minutes later. Wait, is it because Cambridge doesn't have this set up yet? Probably. I probably need to set this in the warehouse. Because, yeah, Cambridge isn't big enough to actually need vegetables regularly. Yep, there we go. Okay, yeah, they're not big enough to require vegetables regularly. And, yep, London has stopped growing. It literally can't grow anymore. <laughs> uh, Cambridge is now growing. Awesome. We have an industry. Um, chemicals industry could be interesting. Uh, that would keep London growing a bit more. Like, if there's any industry that requires vegetables, then that would be good. Maybe a paper industry. Actually, yeah, paper wouldn't be bad. Got logging. Logs go around. Yeah, we get a paper. Put it, like, right next to our rail line. Yeah, you get a nice view of the train track that goes under. Train track that goes through the hole. Perfect. Breakdown. Maintenance needed. Oh, we don't have maintenance here. We do. But it's kind of a far run, so maybe we can go and get some maintenance in here. It's fine. It's kind of a long way for the trains to go, so I, I get it. Yeah, let's go and do this. Okay. I mean, eventually we'll get kind of get up to here, but it's just such a spaghetti that um, right now it's kind of hard to get over there. So right now we'll just kind of connect into here. And actually we'll make sure to connect like up over here. So we can get our nice long gridiron going. Path going under the tracks, nice. So you guys know how to build your train tracks. Go ahead and get a supply tower here and all that. And there we go. We have our fruit train. Okay, we need to try and clean up this warehouse. Actually cloth we don't need. Uh, corn, yes, although we're, we are about to get some corn, so that may not be that for there for that much longer. Gotta try and get some places hooked up over here, because this warehouse is maxed out, and it's kind of a problem. Same with the warehouse in London. It's maxed out, sending stuff down to Dover. 
Oh my goodness, what has this railway done? How did they get this much money? Oh gosh, we're in trouble. How did they get this much money to do this? How? Okay, there still says they're not that valued, but that rail is expensive. They really wanted some vegetables, apparently, and we were apparently in the way. So they're like, you know what? Forget it. At that point, Vegetable Island probably would have been cheaper for them than all this. The Viaduct of Terror. My goodness, I didn't know the AI in this game went that crazy. Anyway, how's our paper industry doing here? Uh, not enough wood. Wait, how's our loads of vegetables to York? Not doing great. I mean, we're, get, we're getting a good stockpile. It's probably going to be a while until they can eventually breach the barrier and make it to York. But hopefully York is getting the stuff they need to make their liquor. A little bit. They're getting a little bit of stuff. They're getting some veg some fruits. Train completed last tour without freight. Um, why? Oh, because these are set to manually for whatever reason. Okay, well, there we go. Now they're, now they're fixed. Uh, seems like just the thing kind of, kind of thing that I would do. Gold finds in California. Ooh, there's gold. But yeah, I'm not sure if, like, competitor rail actually, like, steals your produce. I mean, it would make sense, right? Because they've got trains coming in here, too, that they would try and nab some produce as well. Yeah, like, it's all, like, it's all, it's all out. <laughs> yeah, you, you can, you can take those two things back, buddy. That's fine. Yeah, like, this guy's got full three. It's crazy, but my goodness, look at the Great Western Railway. It is expanding like mad. These railways have stayed relatively tame, but oh my goodness, this Great Western Railway. At least I believe this is the Great Western Railway. It's just going ham. I mean, they're trying to be great, and they're also trying to be Western. Anyways, once we get this four loads of vegetables to York, I think I'm probably going to end the video there, because that'll be another set of tasks completed. Yeah, just waiting for the first trains. Okay, we got some trains pulling into here. Let's see. Do we have any vegetables in this warehouse? Zero. So yeah, we, we just gotta like wait for the bottleneck to build up, I guess. There we go. We got some vegetables coming over here. London, Oxford, London, London, Cambridge. Um, it actually might be a while until they reach all the way to York, because they need to go to Liverpool, then Manchester, then York. Yeah, that might be something. I mean, we have we have the time, right? We don't need to do that until the end of 1850. But also, like, I don't want. I mean, I'll get. I'll give it a year. Like, I'll give it until like this. 1849 and then if we don't get it by then i'll be like okay let's just gonna we're just gonna build a straight rail from dobbs to york and then they'll get their four loads that they need um but for right now we have time i'll, I'll just I'll, I'll just let it uh we'll let it cook actually on second thought great western railway we, we can't have them one-upping us like this right we're going to veggie island three million i could care less i mean we'll get that much money in a bit Actually, we could get a bond. Yeah, I can completely forgot about that. Oh my gosh, double doubling that is still going to be expensive. There we go. We built a bond so we could build our crazy veggie rail. So we'll we'll, we'll slowly be paying back our veggie rail. <laughs> Veggies! <laughs> oh my goodness, look at that. Veggies! <laughs> this this is great. Ah, this is just what I wanted. We were just trying to finish a locomotive. We'll do we'll do new locomotives. That sounds that seems good. Cause I want to buy some new locomotives. Yep, yeah, load up on all the veggies. Oh, and also I don't think I've put a, a tower here. I don't even know there's a spot I can put a tower. Literally, literally the only spot I can put a tower is right at the station. Okay, we're gonna have to do that really close then. Because I gotta shove a gridiron in here as well. <laughs> Actually, I don't... Hopefully we can do a gridiron on a bridge. I don't even know if we could do that. Because I know we can't do these on bridges. So I have to try and fit the gridiron here. Bam! There we go. And we don't need to make that any more, any more parallel lines. Ooh, okay. Yes. And do okay. No, you can do gridiron on bridges. Okay. Okay, so we can do gridiron there, and we can do a gridiron on the bridge. Actually, what what we're gonna have to do here is kind of funny. We just gotta build thing here, so that way we tell the train it comes in here, it goes around the loop, and it turns back around. <laughs> Cause that's the only way it's gonna ever get a supply tower. Cause even if we put a maintenance depot here, they won't get supplied, and we can't put a supply tower on the bridge. So that's just bad planning on my part, cause I forgot that we can't put a supply tower on a bridge or that's a train station but yeah we can't put a supply tower on a bridge i mean it's showing up like you can but yeah obviously you can't can't supply on a bridge oh, there we go our first bit of vegetables for york there we go we got our first ve vegetable to york train leaving big load oh there we go all vegetables for york and this train awesome okay let's go ahead and follow this guy because this will be the final load of the day over our wonderful bridge so many wonderful bridges. Oh, look over there, you can even see the trains going up the mountain pass to uh, Carlisle. That's pretty cool. And here we are! We have arrived! 
Alright, and now we have to see which train the vegetables are getting on now. So they'll be getting off this train and they'll be getting on the next train to York. There you go, vegetables, one. Sugar. Sugar. Okay, it's two. Sugar. That's three. Okay, that's good. Alrighty, full freight. Yeah, I think next time we're definitely going to try and work on quadruple lining uh, this whole bit of rail, the York, Manchester, Liverpool area. We're definitely going to work on quadru quadrupling this line, because right now it's it's not the best. And even, like, the O'Brien terminal, like, work on quadrupling that. Because, yeah, loops are nice, but really we can only do the loop down in, down in the bottom area over there. We, it's not really possible to do the loop up over here, just because of... Just because all the stations are in a linear line. They're not, like, positioned in a loop. Although, to be fair, they kind of are, actually. So maybe we will make a separate loop. Um, cause yeah, they're, they're, they're kind of sort of in a loop thing. Oh, yeah, and York's actually a uh, thing. So uh, it has reached the cap. So we need to put a university here if we want to get 120. Yeah, we got two, ci two cities above 100,000. So that's pretty good. Alrighty, we completed your task. What's... Next. Another step in the right direction, but don't let it go to your head. You there! Stop slouching! No discipline. It's a miracle you've completed your tasks. Hello. I'm here on behalf of the company board. I just wanted to take a moment to express our collective thanks for your work. So far, we are very impressed with your achievements, but we still expect even greater things from you. You! How dare you praise my employees behind my back? Too much buttering up makes one fat and lazy. The nerve! Have you heard of the Great Northern Railway? A dangerous enemy that could leave us in the dust if you don't do something about it. So, what are you waiting for? Uh, I'm, I'm more worried about the Great Western Railway, because they're really heading west. But anyway, uh, let's see. Buy four private routes. Okay, so just got to do one more. Have eighty percent of travelers take the train from Carlisle to Plymouth. Where's Plymouth? Oh, all the way down here. Gosh. Okay, that's gonna be a tricky to get to, because we gotta fight through all of Great Western Railway. So yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, please be sure to leave a like, subscribe for new videos. Have a great day, get rest of your day, and yeah, next time we're gonna try and figure out how are we gonna get over to Plymouth and build a big old long rail line to get them all the way over here. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be interesting. I um, mean, we'll probably can end up connecting through London. London is like our main hub, but Great Western Railway is going to be really in the way uh, of doing this. We're going to have to bridge over them and all that. I mean, we have, it looks like just two spots we got to bridge over. Like here, and then probably here, where we'll bridge over our own rail line as well, so that we can get it on the right side of the station. So, shouldn't be that tricky. And then, yeah, from there, they can just go to O'Brien, and then go to Carlisle. I mean, it'll be a lot of connectings. So maybe they won't want to do it, and maybe we'll have to rework this entire rail line as well. We'll see. Yeah, we'll, we'll see how it goes. But anyways, I'll see you guys then. Goodbye for now.